Hi folks, this is Rose from In Rose's Garden, and we are going to use some beads from a Jesse James beads that came in our spring song mix, and some uh, silver crystal spacers that came from our Pantone uh, Gray Lilac 2023 bead strand to make a fun pair of earrings. So let's turn down and I'll show you what we're going to do. So I've got some really thin, delicate chain, and it is thin enough that it will go through the porcelain beads that we got from Spring Song. Aren't those pretty? See, it goes right in. So I've also always noticed that our um, crystal rondelles um, spacers also usually have a pretty good size hole. So. Doesn't seem to want to go through that one, but we'll worry about that in a second. Oop, come here, you. Well, it's being difficult, but what I want to do is what I'm going to do, actually, is we're going to take three of the porcelain ones and two of the rondelles for each side, and we're going to String them on the chain, like so. And then as the chain pulls around, it's going to make sort of a loop. But we're just going to do straight from the chain and hang it up and hook it up to a jump ring. Well, a jump ring to, to the ear wires. So... I'm going to have to decide how long I want these to be because that's how long we want to cut our chain. So I'm thinking guess it let's just put some on here and then we'll figure out how much we want to go from there. So one porcelain bead, one. Find you. Stubborn thing. Now I know this will go on because I tried it earlier. Okay, oak, there it goes. I will roll these down some. Next porcelain, and then the next crystal spacer. There we go. And the last porcelain. So now we want to push these guys together. Oh, come back here, porcelain. So when we bring it up and around, it's going to sort of fold around like so. But we still need to know how long we want to make them. I don't think I want it that long. So come on guys, go back down. Now the crystal spacers don't want to move as easily as the porcelain does, but oops, I took it off too far. It went right off of my Eat here. So that's probably good about right there. So let's cut that. And we'll figure out how long that is so we can do the other side. See if we can get my all into that last link and this link as well. Now, I was going to say they're going to fall off, at least the one is, because it's that length. Oop. And I don't care if they fall off because we're right now we want to get that length of 
chain measured out here so that we have the same length. In fact, it'd be better if it did come off because it's holding the other chain from um, hanging down straight. Okay, there we go. Now let's see if we've got this the same. Looks like it. So we can put our chain to the side and then we're going to start stringing these back on here again. So it'll be just as we had it before. On you. I want to not drop the porcelain off the other side, so I'm trying to be careful as I pull this one through. And I did anyway. <laughs> Come on, you. Okay, now I've got all the pieces on here. What we need to do is take the little jump rings here and hopefully this is small enough to go through this link, lead chain link and put it on one side. Considering how tiny these links are, I'm hoping that my jump ring is small enough, because it's one of my smallest ones, to go through that link. This was my biggest fear with these earrings, is that this, there I got this one on. So let's close it back up. Now I need to get the other side. Now it went on pretty easily, so now we'll close this baby back up. Now we'll take a slightly bigger one, open it up, and then we're going to go through our two little ones. Just 
as well as our um, ear wire. Close that baby up. And now you can see they're rolled so they're not quite in the middle, but once we get it to go down there some, there we go. This earring is done. And now we just need to do our second one. So we'll just get her moving. I think I'm going to put on this small jump ring on the one end first so that I don't have to do it after I have all of my beads on the wire. I think it might be a little simpler that way. So there we go with that one. Now we'll put the beads on. That won't go through that so we don't have to worry about it falling off so much. Come on, chain. I felt you go through. Now this one seems to have a slightly smaller hole. Yeah, it is. So, I'm gonna get my bead reamer out. Just roll it around there. Looks like I made it a bigger, hopefully. Well, maybe not. It doesn't look that much bigger. Hmm. And now it's on the floor. So we will get a second, a different one out. I know there was a few more in here and we will find it off the floor later. There is one and there is another. This one looks like it has a bigger hole, so we'll go with it. away and get this one. Definitely a bigger hole it went right on. Now I need to get that last, that new uh, piece that I dropped. So here we go. <laughs> Looks like that one's even open already. Grab our wire here on the end and get it on the close it up. <sighs> Butterfingers today. Hmm. Okay. 
And we get our big one here. Open it up. Get it in this one on this side, which is trying to sink into the porcelain, I might add. So we'll get this one side first, I guess. Close it up. And there we go. It's done other than getting it into position by letting these slide down some. Oops, slid too much this way. There we go. And there are our little porcelain and crystal rondel spacers. And our teeny little chain. So there we go. There's our little chain and porcelain uh, tube earrings. Not bad for length. They're extremely lightweight. Um, so there we go. Stop swinging, baby. Aren't those cute? Hope you liked making those with me. Um, another one of those pairs with chain in it. Now this is a tiny delicate chain. I was actually sort of surprised it went through the porcelain beads, but since it did, I decided, hey, might as well use it. So there we go again. There they are. And those porcelain beads came out of Jesse James Beads pack um, Spring Song. The crystal spacers came out of their 2023 Pantone um, Mix Lilac Gray, or Gray Lilac, I believe. Um, however, you could get your crystal spacers from any place, I suppose. Um, and if you have this chain that's tiny enough to go through your beads, um, if you have it in a different gold, you could do it with gold. So, um, anyway, this has been Rose from In Rose's Gardener, and I hope you make had fun making these earrings with me. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.